Hello everyone, Dr. Matt Ed. Today we'll talk about psychological cardiomyopathy, also known as broken heart syndrome. We'll talk about what is psychological cardiomyopathy. We'll look at some echo features and we'll look at the management. What is psychological cardiomyopathy? It is an acute and reversible left ventricular systolic dysfunction that resembles acute coronary syndrome. It does not show significant stenosis on a coronary angiography. And the causes include extremely stressful physical or emotional event. The stressful physical events can include acute illness, and this affects mostly older women. And symptoms are sudden chest pain, shortness of breath, or fainting, and these symptoms are similar to those of a heart attack. The echocardiographic features include transient hypokinesis, akinesis, or dyskinesis in the LV mid-segment with or without apical involvement. If the apex are not moving that well, you get something called apical ballooning. And another feature include abnormalities in regional wall motion extending beyond a single vascular distribution, such as the right coronary artery, or the LAD, or the circumflex. Echographic features also include dynamic LVOT obstruction due to systolic anterior motion, also known as SAM. So SAM is the displacement of the anterior mitral leaflet towards the left ventricular outflow tract during systole. Sometimes there's also mitral regurgitation due to SAM. Here are examples of stress cardiomyopathy. Um, here you can see that this is a two-chamber view, on the right is a four-chamber view, and you can see that there's an apical ballooning. You can see here the basal or mid segments are moving as the heart contracts, it's moving towards to get each other, whereas the apical areas are not contracting as they should be. Management for Takasubo cardiomyopathy include standard heart failure medications such as beta blockers, ACE or ARBs, and diuretics. Usually, the patient will recover in one to four weeks. And most individuals who experience it recover fully within two months and are at low risk for it to happen again. These are my references. If you thought this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and look out for my next video. Thank you for listening.